Alvaro Bedoya, a name you probably haven't heard, is the guy who's been nominated by Biden to serve on the Federal Trade Commission. Now, we don't talk about the FTC a lot. There are a lot of federal agencies out there. This is a pretty important one. The FTC is the responsibility of preventing or breaking up monopolies and protecting consumers' privacy. Now, because of those duties, of course, it has investigated Google in recent years. Both of those are problems Google causes. And so far, we believe it's been far too lenient. So we're a little shocked to find out that a former Google lobbyist and current Google consultant is helping shepherd Bedoya through the confirmation process in the Senate to get to the FTC. Well, that doesn't seem non-corrupt. It seems actually the definition of corruption. Robert Rabin is the man's name. He's a prominent Democratic lobbyist in Washington. His firm, called the Rabin Group, represents dozens of clients. Rabin himself was a registered lobbyist for Google as recently as two years ago. His firm still consults for Google the world's most powerful company. This show has been told by multiple sources that Rabin is acting as a, quote, Sherpa for Bedoya and arranging meetings between Bedoya and various Senate offices. Again, if that's true, that's corruption. We reached out to Rabin, who confirmed that his firm is assisting Bedoya. Obviously, a massive conflict of interest here. The guy who works for Google helping to install the guy who regulates Google. Now, you've heard a few Democrats talk a big game about breaking up big tech and giving the power back to the public. They don't mean it. How do you know that? If Bedoya gets confirmed as an FTC commissioner, do you think he's going to forget who helped him get the job? Probably not. And Google is the company that did the Google that he's supposed to be regulating. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.